How you doing everybody? Welcome to Stand Focus for Jesus. Hope you're having a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ as always. Today I want to present a um, a video that I am pretty excited to present. I just want to give you a little backstory on it before I present it. About a year ago, the Lord Jesus Christ brought a sister in Christ in my life who is a true born again believer she has been instrumental in helping the ministry get to the point that it is at right now um, there are different things that she helped speed along that I could have done but with making sermons and working and other things that the Lord has given me to do you know I wasn't always able to get to it so she has helped exponentially in a lot of things the business cards um, just a lot of things and uh, she's you know always willing to help uh, with different things and the thing is she stays all the way in Arkansas and I stay in Georgia and she has been helping with the ministry all the way from Arkansas and she just wants to do things for the Lord she just wants to help in any way that she possibly can so she came across my video or she came across this ministry staying focused for Jesus through YouTube I think somebody shared my video and then she watched it and then everything and then she sent me a friend request on Facebook and um, I think I sent her a message it was on my spirit in my spirit to send her a message I don't know why I sent it um, so you thinking like oh you, you sent a message because you were trying to holler at her no it wasn't nothing like that I just you know felt compelled to send her a message and I can look back now and see that it was the Holy Spirit that was compelling me to send that message because I've known her for a year and you say, you know, best friend, we know we talk all the time. I can talk to her about spiritual thing, you know, when I have, you know, problems going on and whatnot, I uh, talk to her about certain things, of course, certain things I don't talk to her about because I'm a man and there's certain thing that you just don't talk to uh, females about you go talk to your brothers in Christ about it and guys you know what I'm talking about but um there are other sisters in Christ and brothers in Christ that I speak to so if you're watching this video and you know that we talk on a regular basis or we speak or you know we fellowship I'm not leaving you out but this is not about me is not about you is really not about her it's about the Lord Jesus Christ but this is part of her ministry with the gift that God has given her and I told her that uh, you know I would help her I would do my part do what the Lord has called me to do um, to help her get the gift out there that God has given her and her gift is something that everybody loves and that gift is singing so she was in the music industry. She went to school uh, in Los Angeles, went to a very popular school. I can't remember the name of it, but some of you may know. She was striving to be a star, and she had the mindset that nothing or nobody was going to stop her. She was going to be somebody. She was going to be big. So she did music and everything. Um, things started to pick up. Uh, you know, she started to make a little bit of noise in the industry, as they say. And then she got saved. She got born again. She was born again. And so, you know, when you're born again, things change. So, she wasn't really doing music or whatnot. But the Lord would give her songs and stuff. And I, I know because I've heard some of the songs. And she told me, hey, the Lord gave me a song. And then she'll sing it a little bit. Oh, I like that or whatnot. So, me being who I am in the Lord Jesus Christ because of him 
you know, I say it all the time. My job is to encourage. My job is to challenge. My job is to push. That's my job. Um, other things that, you know, God has called me to do, but that's one of the things or some of the things that God has called me to do. If you are looking to be challenged, if you're looking to for somebody to say, what are you doing for the Lord Jesus Christ? Because you're saying that you love him, but you ain't doing nothing for him. So why aren't you doing anything for him if you love him to say if you love him the way you say you love him when people are out here dying every day and going to hell when they need to hear the gospel then that's what I'm going to do and I don't want people to think that you know I'm just like that on other people I'm like that with myself I can't expect for I can't expect for people to, uh, well, I guess I should say, I can't expect to be like that toward people and yet, you know, not even hold myself accountable to that same standard. I want to be used by the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want people around me who want to be used by the Lord Jesus Christ also. I don't care if it's the smallest thing. It could be something small. It could be something big. It could be, it could be something in the middle. I don't care. If you want to be used... I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to push you to say, hey, why aren't you doing it? Remember what you said? You said you were going to do this. You said you were going to do that. Why haven't you done it? You have no excuses. That's me. So for the last year, <laughs> the last year I have been on her about making music for the Lord. And I've just been on her and on her and on her and on her. You know, not just being uh, uh, a prick about it, but, you know, being consistent and planting that seed when the time arose for me to plant that seed. Uh, you know, she would say something about music. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you should just do some music for the Lord or or whatever. And my biggest thing that I will always tell her, and she would tell you the same thing, you know, there is no excuse because... Based on what she told me, she said that she had uh, no excuse of why she wasn't making music for the Lord when all the things that she was doing when she wasn't saved to make it. So now that she is saved, she has no excuse. And so I, I would use that. I mean, why not? I would bring that as a reminder to her, like, you know, you don't have any excuse to make this music for the Lord because of the things that you used to do for yourself. How much more should you be making music for the Lord? Should I? Yeah, you're right. Thank you for the reminder. So it was, it was uh, like that. But um, for a year, I was consistently on her about making music and it progressed and it progressed and it progressed and she finally got the song out. Well, it, uh, it officially isn't out, but when you're going to, when you watch this video, <laughs> then the song will be officially out because the song is done right now, but she's still tying up some loose lens, ends, not lens, but ends. So when you watch this video or when the song is officially released, then you will be able to download the song if you want to. So you're watching this video now, but the song isn't officially out. But when you watch this video, the song will be officially out if that makes any sense. Um, so the song is done and I want to present the song on my ministry page and I hope that you guys enjoy it uh, if you like the song go download it share it, get it out there and here's the thing about this I would say that she's doing something new in the, as you say quote in the industry because she's not making any money off of the music. She's not making any money off of the music. You can download the song for free. Um, when the album is available, you'll be able to get the album for free. Uh, rather be digital download or rather, uh, you know, a hard copy or whatnot. It will all be for free. Because she's doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't know too many 
I personally don't know any music or well, Christian music artists who are in the industry that are willing to do music for free. And she's done shows before when she was in the world. So, you know me, I kind of like think big. I think kind of like think ahead of ahead of things sometimes. And I'm seeing her doing shows and stuff. And me and her talked about it and everything. And I told her, you're going to do these shows or are you doing them for free? She said, yes. So I was like, okay, because if you aren't going to do them for free, then I'm not going to be able to support you because this is your whole your whole thing or whatnot. You know, showing that you can do things that you love for the Lord and use the gifts that you have been given by God and use them for His glory and do it for free. It's possible. So she's going to be doing shows. Uh, that's going to be in the works and stuff. And all her shows that she's going to do is going to be for free. Um... Yeah, they're going to be for free. Only thing that she's going to require is, you know, food, transportation, and housing. And, but other than that, as far as making money off her singing, she is not going to make any money. If somebody wants to give a donation to support her because the music does cost, uh, we're talking about being in the studio, stuff like that, then that option is available. But as far as, like, making money and putting it in her pocket... And like, bam, my pockets are fat. Not, none of that. None of that. I'm, I won't even support that. So, um, yeah, I think I'm done talking um, and explaining any, explaining everything. And it's time to get to the video. This is the official lyric video, and Lord willing, there will be a. A official, you know, like real live, official, official, the videos that you like see on MTV and BET, official video like that. That's coming next, Lord willing. So keep her in your prayers. And with that being said, let's get to it. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Because you say I am rich and increased with goods and in need of nothing And no, no, you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind and naked So then because you are lukewarm and neither go no Jesus said that he would spit you out of his mouth. Stop playing church. We become something else, something worse, something more like the world. Where is the church? We become something else, neither hot nor cold.
You say you a Christian, living yeah. like I tried to hell. You a Christian, go to church, say the sinner's prayer. You a Christian, stay getting high, getting thrown. Yeah, Monday through Saturday, anything go. Yeah, caught up in the world and left your first love. Jesus died in your place, he shed his precious blood. But you gotta be seen, pastor, apostle. Wake up, church, time to go and preach the gospel. Church. We become something else, something worse, something more like the world. Where is the church? We become something else, neither hot nor cold, but lukewarm. Stop playing church. We become something else, something worse, something more. Church. Where's the church?